This is episode 34 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I am Joey. For those of you that are watching this on YouTube, you can see these goofy glasses that I have on. For those of you that are listening to this on a podcast, you cannot see them. But the picture for the episode is, that's me, and those are the glasses I'm wearing. So just visualize me talking in your head. So what in the hell am I wearing these glasses for? Well, if you looked at the topic, the question is, how do I, what is one easy way that I can get better sleep and to me this is the best way to get to get better sleep these are called blue light blocking glasses and for nine dollars from Uvex on Amazon you can sleep better now how in the world do these goofy looking glasses these protective lenses how do they make you sleep better so what happens is your body needs to produce melatonin in order to have like a sound sleep. What these do is they cut off your cortisol production that you get from, you guessed it, blue lights. From office lights to the gym lights to your TV to your phone, your tablet, your phablet, whatever. All those are flooding your eyes with blue lights, which keeps your cortisol production going. What happens when your cortisol is going? It means your melatonin is not. So instead of taking melatonin pills, which I highly do not recommend, pop these on a couple hours before you go to bed while you're reading, while you're watching TV, while you're scanning through crap on your phone and sleep your butt off. Honestly, the first few nights I used these, it felt like I had taken codeine and codeine for when I was sick, not codeine that I mix with like Sprite and sip and then become a loser, not scissor, none of that stuff. Like I, I was I was sick, I had a cough, it had codeine in it, I slept my butt off. But when I woke up, it was like, holy crap, that was some deep sleep. That's what these do until you until your body kind of gets used to it and then you just have consistently strong sleep. So what happens is when you don't have the melatonin, because you're you don't wear these and you're running around until right before you go to bed and you're watching TV in bed and you're looking at your phone in bed your cortisol production is going up until that point and it takes up to 4 hours after you stop producing cortisol to start producing melatonin and that's when you get your deep restful restorative sleep so what these do is these allow you to produce melatonin sooner a lot of you guys are sleeping 5 6 hours that's it. So if you're not producing melatonin for four hours, and that means you're only getting like an hour or two of good sleep. That sucks. That's that's not good for you long-term health-wise. That's not good for you. So this one, try to get eight hours of sleep, okay? Work it in. It's that important. It's that uh, for health, for longevity, everything. And get these glasses so you can start the melatonin process, melatonin production process sooner. So you can get eight hours of great sleep or seven hours of great sleep or six hours of great sleep. It's a hell of a lot better than one or two. So this is short and sweet. You wanted a quick answer on how to sleep better. If there's like hacks to sleeping better, this is it. This is what I use. I mean, I prep my sleep and you can go back and find the other episodes about, about prepping sleep. You can find me on uh, Medium and go through some of the older blogs about sleep and health and everything. But these are huge because we're all on our phones until late. We're all watching TV until late. And unless you are uh, disciplined enough to put all that stuff down and read a book a couple hours before bed, and you're, you're probably going to be on it. You're going to be watching the news. You're going to be watching your show, watching Netflix or whatever. Pop these on. It blocks the blue light, hence the name, blue light blocking glasses. And it allows you to produce melatonin sooner because it's cutting off cortisol production and cortisol is what keeps you awake is what stresses you out it's all those things that 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 will hinder your sleep the better sleep you get tonight the better you'll feel tomorrow the more productive you'll be tomorrow so 
blue light blocking glasses made by Uvex. I got these on Amazon, $9. That's it. I mean, you can go expensive if you want it to look a little cooler. I mean, these aren't exactly like, you know, you're not going to be spitting game to any girls with these on, I don't think. But they have cooler looking ones if you want to drop 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks on them. Hey, man, knock yourself out. But the purpose is cut off cortisol. Cortisol is really bad for sleep. Melatonin is good for sleep. You can't produce cortisol and melatonin at the same time. Pop these on a couple hours before you go to bed, three to four preferably, and then sleep your butt off, and I guarantee you'll feel the difference. I promise you, you can feel the cortisol shut off. You lift the glasses up after a couple hours, you can feel you can feel something different. You don't know what it is, but it's something different, and your sleep will be awesome. So hope you guys have a great weekend. If you guys have any questions about this or anything else, please hit me up. Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook's been picking up. Yeah. Hope you guys are good. Hope everything's going well. If you're going through anything, hit me up. Don't put it off. It doesn't have to be like a show thing. You don't have to wait a couple days. Hit me up. I'll go right back to you on Snapchat. That seems to be the preferred method. But if you're sitting on something, whether you think it's big or small or whatever, nothing's too big and nothing's too small, but ask for help. Ask for suggestions. The reason I'm doing this is because I've been through it and I can help you get through whatever it is you're going through. That's the whole point of this, but you have to ask. All right. See you guys soon. Have a good weekend. And she was like, huh? and he was like, nah. and we was like, huh?